Well, Kim, the USDA just released their June WASDE numbers. How, how are they looking right now? Well, those numbers came in higher than the trade expected. The uh, trade was expecting a 2% reduction in soft red winter, hard red winter wheat, white wheats, and the, and the USDA came out with a 2% above. In other words, a 4% 4, 4 spread there. Looking at those numbers, uh, you look at U.S. Uh, wheat production estimated to be at 2 billion, 60 million bushels compared to 2.21 billion last year. Hard red winter wheat at 777 million uh, compared to uh, 1.02 billion last year. Soft red winter wheat coming in at 434 million bushels compared to 238 billion bushels last year. Okay, and, and what does the world wheat production look like? Well, the world wheat production where U.S. is uh, less than last year, the world production is expected to be higher. Uh, world production estimated to be 24.6 billion bushels. The record is 20 5.1, which was in 09. Uh, last year we produced 23.8 billion bushels. So you had a, a slight increase in world production this year. Okay, and, and we bring it in closer to home. How, let's talk the uh, Southern Plains about the, uh, about the wheat production in Kansas. Texas and Oklahoma. Well, they're all down, as, as we jolly well know. Texas took the big hit at uh, essentially 47 million bushels compared to 128 million bushels last year. Uh, Kansas at 262 compared to 360 million bushels last year. And Oklahoma at essentially 75 million bushels uh, compared to 121. And a five-year average for Oklahoma of about 105. What are we looking uh, for in the ending stocks right now? Well, ending stocks with a lower production in the U.S., they're projecting them to be uh, also go down uh, for wheat the uh, U.S. down to 687 million down from 809 uh, this year uh, last month uh, that estimate was 702. Uh, if you look at world ending stocks expected to uh, increase uh, last year it's 6.7 billion it's expected to increase to 6.9 the estimate last month was 6.8. I think it's significant that with with higher world ending stocks or higher world wheat stocks, they're projecting uh, U.S. wheat stocks to decline, and they didn't change exports. And I'm 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 concerned about that because we know Russia is already eating into our export demand in North Africa and the Middle Eastern countries. So how are the markets handling this these latest reports? Well, what you uh, see on the markets, uh, you know, they expected higher corn prices, lower wheat prices, et cetera, et cetera. The markets are, I mean, they're just all over the board today. You know, they they opened up uh, wheat opened up lower, then it went higher, then it was just even. So the market is questioning these reports. Uh, they uh, they expected 2% less uh, winter wheat production. They got 2% more winter wheat production. They did expect lower corn production and got that. So the market is questioning it. So as you'd expect, prices just don't know. The market just doesn't know what to do with it yet. Okay, and, and back to wheat real quick. What what does the outlook look like for the price? Well, you know, you look at the Kansas City Board of Trade uh, wheat contract. Uh, Oh, around eight eight dollars and seventy five cents right now. It's got support at eight sixty. We break eight eight sixty, then you can go another fifty lower. I think they're probably going to hold that. Uh, there's a uh, uh, about a forty seven cent spread between July and December, so I think that's positive. I think there's some risk in the market uh, with if world wheat production is above expectations. I think they're going to eat into our exports and our prices are going to go down. So. Either, if you can't afford the risk, sell it now. If you can afford the risk, then sell a third now, third in uh, September, October, and the final third in November and December. Okay, Kim Anderson, Grand Marketing Specialist for Oklahoma State University.